Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Screen Player One here. I'm bringing you another really fun tutorial. This is uh, talking about controllers and how to set it up properly so you can, you know, just maximize happiness and awesomeness when you're, you know, tearing it up, uh, playing your ROMs. Doesn't matter if it's for the SNES or Project 64. Um, Project 64 is a little touchy because you're talking about playing, you know, video games from a console with a joystick, and you know, like the controllers on an N64 were really fucking weird, but um, I, I decided to do this, so I'm going to show you how I set it up to play Mario Party, Mario Kart, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, whatever, and it, it's so fluid, it is so awesome, it, it, you know, Nintendo designed their N64 controller, like the Xbox 360 controller, I think they, they would have had a really hot product on their hands, I mean, they already did, let's be real, but it would have been better, so I'm going to show you how to set it up properly, uh, the first thing you want to do is turn on your controller, just like this, so you see the, the little green light right here, so we're ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and launch Project 64. Now if you remember from our last tutorial, um, I set it up so you can go on Netplay and do what you got to do. Um, so yeah, you're going to see the AQZ uh, Netplay plugin. It, that, that's like the controller plugin, but it utilizes the Enrages controller plugin. I know that's kind of confusing. Pay no attention to it. Just if just watch my how to play online with other people um, tutorial, and then go ahead and watch this one. If you don't want to play online with other players and you just want to, you know, set your computer up, you know, set up four controllers and just play locally, then what you would do is go to options, configure controller plugin, and uh, or no no no, I lied. You go to settings plugins. And then you would select Enrage's direct input 81.61, and that would not utilize the Netplay portion of this software. But AQZ Netplay is a plugin on its own, but it's piggybacking on the Enrage control controller plugin. So to set up the Enrage controller plugin to maximize, uh, you know, comfort when you're playing. So this is the plugin, never mind this, but this is what we're going to be using. We're using this to actually control the game. So we're going to go ahead and click configure. Now, let's just, I'm going to assume you're not going to be playing with other people and you're just playing by yourself. You just want to, you know, play play something by yourself like Duke Nukem or something. Um, this, is, this, this is what you're going to have set up. So you're going to be player one. So select controller one only. Leave these settings at none. And let's go to assign keys. I already have mine set up. Um, so let's just pretend we're going to have a clear canvas. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do, go to the top right over here, select your gamepad that you're using, uh, you know, it could be the 360, the Logitech, uh, you know, game pro controller or whatever, or, uh, something from, you know, retro link, but we have the 360 controller. This is a top notch controller. It's awesome. All right, so now we got to assign keys. So I'm going to try to move my mouse over here, try not to get in the way. So the digital pad, that's a D-pad. We're going to go, we're going to just follow, follow this exactly. On the Nintendo 64 controller, that was like this gray button. Here, let me just toss up an image. So this is, this D-pad on this 360 controller, it's going to emulate that. And the, and the cool thing about this 360 design is all the buttons are, are laid out really, really well. This is a solid controller, guys. All right, now the analog stick. That was, um, you know, the joystick in the center. And this is going to be our joystick. So, you know, just very simple. We're going to follow it along. Hold on, is this doing it right? Yeah, this is right. All right, the C buttons. The C buttons on the N64 controller were the yellow buttons. We are going to use the left or the right joystick, I apologize, the right joystick on the or the left analog stick on the 360 controller to control these buttons. So same thing, we're just going to follow along, super easy. You know, I used to play these ROMs and emulators with a mouse and keyboard. God help me. It was fun while it lasted, though. All right, now these buttons are pretty straightforward. Start button, well, that's easy. Start. A button, A. Look how easy I got, you know, really good access to these controllers. B. All right. Now, the Z trigger, I'm going to use this actual trigger. 
because I'm a first person shooter, you know, I'm a I'm a FPS type of gamer, you know. So the Z button was generally traditionally used to shoot in the games, if I remember uh Golden Eye and Perfect Dark. So yeah, that's gonna be Z. And then left trigger. Left right here. And then the right trigger, same thing right here. Easy. That that's it, guys. That's all it takes to set it up. It only took a few seconds. Um, I would avoid fucking with the dead zone or the threshold or the default analog stick range. I left. I've always left mine at defaults. So, I mentioned earlier in um in, in one of the previous tutorials that if you want to um play with other people, they're gonna need to set you know controller. Hey, let me show you like controller two, three, or four, depending on what they uh what player they are. Um, so if you if let's say you you join your buddy's server, and you're gonna be player two, having to do this would be super tedious and boring. Well, go to the bottom right, save profile, and I already did I already did my setup. So the settings that I have right now. They're right here. So if I were to select controller 2, I would just load profile, and I would load this up. And that's it. How easy is that? No no drama, no nothing, guys. That's it. Uh, you're done. So it doesn't matter if you're controller 1, 2, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to save any of these. So that's it. That's how I would set up my N64 controller, my, my emulated controller. And uh, let me tell you guys, I've had no issues whatsoever. Um, I think maybe one or two games, like, uh, for whatever reason, you know, like, I was still moving forward when I clearly wasn't. Um, mini games, at least. But for the most part, the game ran really, really well. Um, emulation is at its best now than ever before. So get into it. Don't be afraid. Don't hesitate to ask me questions uh, in the comment section or reach out to me. Um, you know, on Instagram or, or Twitter or whatever. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.